Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Dive Stories, our new series where various members of the Blue World team are gonna be telling you interesting, cool stories about diving. Now, you might be wondering, why not just do it in a Blue World episode? Well, you know, the fact of the matter is that sometimes we have stories things that happen behind the scenes that we don't have any shots of or it doesn't really have anything to do with the Blue World episode that we were shooting at the time and so it doesn't really fit in the Blue World episode itself. But you might find it interesting because, you know, we have a lot of very funny behind the scenes things that have happened to us over the years and some of it is uh, stuff we've learned lessons from, some of it is just kind of funny, um, and some of it I think you might just find interesting. So for the first episode of Dive Stories, I thought that I would tell a story um, that I actually tell a lot because people ask me this question a lot. So I thought, you know, maybe you'd enjoy this one. And the question is, why did I start diving? What made me get certified to dive? And the answer goes all the way back to my very early childhood. So when I was a kid, there was a very popular show on television called The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau. This guy, one of my childhood heroes, Jacques-Yves Cousteau. Um, he was uh, a guy that popularized scuba diving uh, way back in the day, and he had a series on television that was all about his underwater adventures. And in fact, Blue World is very largely based on the undersea world of Jacques Cousteau. We, we actually like to say that Blue World is like Jacques Cousteau meets the crocodile hunter. So uh, Jacques Cousteau was a very uh, large influence in my childhood, and I was fascinated with all things underwater and scuba diving and shipwrecks and all kinds of underwater stuff. I used to, I used to go under my bed and pretend that I was diving in a cave or in a shipwreck amongst the dust bunnies underneath my bed when I was a kid. So I was really into diving, and I thought that scuba divers were like astronauts. It never occurred to me that a normal person could become a scuba diver. I thought only special people, they were like superheroes. Scuba divers were right up there with superheroes and astronauts to me. So imagine my surprise many years later when I was in college, I realized that I could take scuba diving for one of my gym classes. Now I gotta back up and say, I always wondered why you're paying all this money for a college education. Why would you have to take gym? Why do you have to take phys ed in college? So my freshman year, I needed to take a gym class. So I took softball and uh, I spent, you know, a whole semester in left field waiting for somebody to hit the ball out there. It was very quiet. Uh, it was actually pretty good for me because I'm not good at softball. Uh, and the next, my sophomore year, I took badminton. Then in my junior year, I saw that they offered scuba diving. And I thought to myself, all of these childhood memories of Jacques Cousteau came back. And I was like, I can be a scuba diver and get gym credit for it? This is awesome. So I took it in, in college and um, we did our checkout dives in March in Massachusetts. And the water was in the very low 30s. It was super cold. I was in a rental wetsuit that I am pretty sure somebody else peed in before me, and I froze my butt off. But on that dive, that first dive in the ocean, and I saw a lobster walking by right in front of me, my imagination went right back to when I was a kid, and I completely fell in love with scuba diving from the moment that I did it and it changed my life. So I can clearly say that uh, gym class actually changed my life. Uh, it took me in a completely different direction from my major, which was electrical engineering. So there you have it. That is why and how I learned to dive. And you know, the rest is history, as you know. Um, and uh, here we are, making Blue World many, many years later. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our latest episode all the way to the end. Hit that subscribe button now so you won't miss our next episode. 